Hi and welcome. I'm John and this is Unique All Games Arrange. Guys, welcome back. For everyone that's new, this is a Let's Build video. What are Let's Build videos and what they're all about? Well, Let's Build videos, I take a model kit and I'll show you guys how to put it together. If there's any areas of concern on the sprue, as in something on the sprue is numbered differently to the instructions, I'll let you guys know. If there's any points of concern in terms of chains or wires or anything you have to be careful snipping off again gives you a heads up sometimes there's some parts of the model that are very complicated to put together but when you when i do it and you see how easy it is you go actually yeah that's the mistake i'm making it's very straightforward if you're interested in models from an army or you know start a new army or if you have an army you think i want to get these models but i don't know how complicated they are again it's a visual aid to help you out if you suffer with dyslexia or struggle with instructions in general again this helps you in, in a massive, massive way. So for all my regulars here, I feel love. Thank you very much. I'll see you in a second, guys. Right, as promised. Well, first bit of news is I actually got myself a copy of 10th edition today. It's on pre-order, so two weeks' time, it'll be arriving up on the 24th, so I'm delighted. So, as promised, I'm going to build Tyranid Warriors today. It's an absolutely amazing um, kit. I remember building these a long time ago, so hopefully it should be pretty much the same. So I'm going to finish getting set up, get the sprues out and everything else, and we'll have go through normal stuff. So as normal, we'll have a look at the stat lines first of all. So there's two stat lines on here, which is absolutely fantastic. The two warriors, base two warriors, movement of six, weapon skill three, so three plus in combat to hit, three plus with shooting, strength five, toughness five, which is quite nice, uh, three wounds apiece, three attacks apiece, leadership nine, and four plus armor save. Now, two prime, my model could be upgraded to two prime, movement six, uh, two plus in combat, two plus in shooting. Strength 5, Toughness 5, 6 wounds, so it's quite tasty. 4 attacks, leaves with 10, and a 3 plus armor save. And there are a multitude of weapons here. Now, I don't know what all these guns are. I know one's a Venom Cannon, one's a Devourer. I don't know what the rest are. Okay, so just forgive me. But the first one is this lovely looking thing with a big poison sack on it. It's got a 36 inch range, Assault D6, which is nice. Shrimp 6, minus 1 AP and 1 damage piece. The second one, whichever one this is. If you guys know, just check comment below. Number one is this, number two is okay, just because I don't I don't know. I haven't played them and gone through the list. Okay, this is what I want. Um number two is 24 inch range. It's up D3, shrimp 5, minus 2 AP and 1 damage piece. Number three. Whatever that is, that's similar to what a ter the terminal is going to have as well. So I don't know. Um, it's 18 inch range, assault five, which is nice. Um, strength four, AP zero, one damage a piece. Number four is these little spine fist things, which is a pistol weapon. I'll tell us about 12 inch range, pistol two. Um, strength five, minus one AP, one damage a piece. Number five is this big, big, big beast thing here. 36, 36 inch range, assault D3, strength eight, minus three AP and two, minus three AP and two damage a piece. That's quite a tasty one. Um, number six is close combat weapon, bone sword. So it's melee weapon, plus two strength, minus two AP and two damage a piece. So plus two strength, making strength seven. But that's the, bo that's the bone sword and less whip. There's some sort of rules for the last one what it is now, but it's not on here, so I couldn't tell you. Right, number seven is a pair of bone swords. So it's basically the same, same as the one above. Plus two strength, minus two AP, and two damage apiece. Number eight, eight is his claws, which is it's a melee weapon again. It's plus one strength, minus four AP, and one damage apiece. So plus one strength, making strength six, minus four AP. So if he's fighting space marines, they're not going to be able to save against it, which is actually good, because they have a free up power armor save. So it's pretty good. 
Um, number nine is these rendering claws or siphoning talons, I think they're called, which is the strength of the user, so strength five, minus one AP and one damage apiece. So the, the melee weapons are quite quite tasty because bear in mind they have three attacks hitting on uh, three plus. So they can dish out some serious damage there. Right, so tools needed as usual. Mold line scraper. Now you can use a hobby knife or a surgical blade or something like that. If you're using the bladed, a sharp bladed tool, be careful because it's sharp and let anyone know in the house that you're using it so nobody scares you by accident. We have clippers, most useful part of our kit. Now I always use sanding sponge and or sanding block. This is sanding sponge, which is sponge, sandpaper either side, so you can really fold it up and get into nicks, nicks and grooves. This is sanding block, the same thing, but it's not as it's not as flexible. Okay. And it's basically sponge with sandpaper around the edge. You get this in a hardware shop near the um sandpaper slash wallpaper. Usually closer towards the sandpaper. It's a plastic kit. So plastic glue. I do have super glue at hand just in case. Now, so for everyone that's new, we the first thing we do this before we start snipping stuff off and looking at st and doing stuff, we start looking at the sprues. Just to ascertain where stuff is and all that sort of stuff. So there's three sprues in this kit. So we'll look at the first sprue. They're head crests. I know that straight away. Obviously we've got legs, we've got lash whips, we've got little mouths there, we've got bits coming out, we've got cannon arms, we've got chest pieces, we've got back calipace, we've got bone swords, which is actually lovely, really, really nice. We've got other arms that connect into guns and stuff. That's the first sprue. Second sprue is pretty much the same, but I, I think these are for the, to the prime, I think, these two little bits. Chest pieces, back face, but this one has a little bit missing there. So I think that could be for the Tyranid Prime model because there's, yeah, there's, there's, there's four there's four back pieces, so that one's different to the others. So imagine that's for Tyranid Prime. This lovely looking cannon. But this, actually one of them might be a barbed strangler, I think. I think that's what this one is. I'm not sure. Anyway, again, if anyone knows, just chuck it below me know. Just see this piece here. That's what this piece goes on to. Yeah, this lovely little piece is lost in there. I see that now. Uh, with more bone swords. The other arm, the other sprue. We have body. There's three of those, very straightforward. We have the little the claw arms. We have the uh, cycling talons. We have some more of the guns. Very, very nice. Very nice. And one thing I like about this kit as well is some of these pieces could be used on other tuning models they could be used if you're a chaos army you'll make chaos spawns they can be used for them very very nice so what i'm going to do i'm going to finish setting up and come back with the first pieces all right so the first piece we need is the body part so i'm going to snip all three of those off clean them down and i come back to you again all right so the next part we need are the legs now here's the little thing that just that's why I didn't say this body part and that number and this because the legs on the instructions have two legs together 52 and 49 52 and 49 and then 53 and 50 50 and 53 and then 51 and 54 so basically these are all uh, right legs these are all left legs but at the same time saying it on the instructions, it's saying they're optional. So you, you can mix and match them, which yeah, you can. So each one has the little spare prong. So I'm gonna snip all these legs off, clean them down and come back and show you how they go to the body. Right, so this is how easy they go in. Take one body, I've taken one leg. You can see there's a square peg there's a square hole and it just literally sits in there so the foot goes down open up on the other side and then that goes in the other side like so so it gives them the vertical base what you want to do is try and position it so that they 
basically standing. Yeah. Now, whether the tail's touching the base or not, doesn't matter. Because if it's touching the base, it's even better because it has about another a third point of contact to glue it to the base. So I'm going to glue the legs in and we're going to come back for the next pieces. And so the next thing we need are the head cresses. That's one, two, and three. So there's two and three there. And another one's here. Now notice this one is different. Yeah, that's the two in the prime head. But you see the, these two and this one are the same. So I'm going to slip those off, clean those down, and we need the faces. So there's one there, which is number, so that's two and I don't know, 75, 6, 7. Let's have a look, see. There's 5. Yeah. There's 6. And there's another one floating around somewhere. I don't think it actually matters what head you have, because it's totally optional anyway. So I'm going to slip three, three faces off and the three head presses, clean them down, and I'll show you how they go together. Okay, so these are really straightforward to go together. Any head crest and any face, put a little bit of glue in there. Take this one. There's two little rectangles there, and there's still the rectangles in there. Just literally, just up in there like that. Nice and easy. Okay, so I'm going to do the other two and come back to you for the next piece. Right, so the next two pieces that we need <clears throat> are these pieces. Now they are 42, 43 and 44. So that's 44, 43 and 42. Who's this bad boy here? All right. Remember this one has a special little groove in it. That's for the prime. We don't need that one. So we just need this one. And the other two then we need the three front body parts which is 38 39 and 40 well there's 38 there's 39 and there's 40 so three of these and three of these i'm going to slip them off clean them down show you how they go together right so these all these back back all these back calipers should i say and the front piece you can mix and match them doesn't matter they all have the same Three holes with the same three circles. So I'm going to glue them in together, all three of them. Doesn't matter where they, all they go into, and then come back to you for the next bit. Right, so I went ahead and glued them to the base. There's no need to show you that, it's very straightforward. But I will say to you try and have some few things of different heights to prop them up. Like this guy's propped up with the sanding sponge against the towel to hold him his feet on the base. This guy's Glue to the base, but his tail is propped up with a paint pot. Yeah, just to hold him into place while the glue sets. Because trying to get the legs right on these guys are not the easiest thing because there's a square pin going to a square hole. So it's, I don't know, it's a little bit, it's not difficult, it's just a pain in the backside. Whereas the other guy, his tail sits nicely on the base. So you can just glue the base to these tail to the base, and it's where you go. Now, the next piece that we need is one of the heads and one of the body pieces. Now, as you can see, it's trying to glue there. I've actually sealed the join line between there. But this, there's a little, little bit that sits up there. There's a little hole there that glues onto there. The back of his head rests in that, in that little nook there. Okay, so it just goes on there like that. Nice and easy. So I'm going to glue them all in place and then come back to the next piece. Right. <coughs> Excuse me. These models are very simple, but I think I glued that one too far forward on the base. It doesn't matter because you always measure from the base anyway and it adds a bit more dynamic to it. I think this one I, I glued the legs slightly wrong, not the wrong way, but slightly so he's in a tilted position running forward. But again, it's more dynamic and it looks okay. It's just going to be a pain in the ass for me to get the the correct, or to get the bits I want on him. Um, so I might have to swap him out. Not swap him out, but I might just have to give him something a little bit different. I don't know yet. But basically, the body goes. 
this bit here. Get some glue in there, you'll see what I mean. The glue goes in here. Be careful, it's still wet. Literally just sits on top there, like so. Just mess around with it because it doesn't want to take until it starts taking. I'm going to hold it off camera and I'll come back to you for the next piece. Right, so that's all taken nicely. Um, I'm, I'm, I like the way that they pose, or that I pose them, should I say. And this guy's a little bit, because he's a bit far forward, but it doesn't matter. I'm not going to be able, probably not be able to give him the gun, which is a bit disappointing. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna. I might. I might actually just. I don't know if I should try and repose him or if I should just. Because the gun's not gonna go under there. And if I do manage to get under there, it's gonna be a pain in the ass to paint there. Anyway, <clears throat> so they come equipped with. I'll check the codex. They come equipped with these guns. Yeah. They're splinter cannons? No, one of them's a splinter cannon, one's barbed strangler, and one's something else, I can't remember now. Anyway, they come equipped with that. And they come equipped with a last weapon bone sword. You can swap them for two bone swords. You know, there's lots of options that they can have. And one one guy in the unit can have so the barbed strangler or is it the venom cannon? One of these. One one guy in the unit can have one of these, which is quite tasty. Um one of the guys can have these, this weapon here. Um, and they can all sort their bone swords for different bits and pieces. I think only the Prime can have this weapon, I think. I'm not sure. I can't remember now off the top of my head. But anyway, because they get armed with this, I'm going to get this out. And I'm going to give it to them. Now there's three of them. 26, 27, 28. So there's 27. There's 26. And the other one is right slap in the middle there, 28. Now the arms that they have, they're 29, 30 and 31. So there's 31. Yeah, that's what it looks like. They're all the same. All three of them are the same. So, they look, they, so all the guns are the same and all the arms are the same. So there's one. Uh, where's the other one? The other one should be too far from the weapon. Maybe I'm mistaken. No, where is the So there's one. There's another one. And where's the third one? The third one's somewhere. Mm, oh, there is stuff right in front of me. So I'm going to snip all those guns off, snip all those arms off, and I'll show you how one of them goes together, and I'll just put the other two together off camera. So I glued them to one. It looks pretty good. <laughs> it looks actually pretty good. Um, this is very straightforward. It's pretty much the same as the gargoyles and the uh, termagants, how the guns go together. <clears throat> For everyone that's new, this little knob a bit goes to the bottom hole of the bottom. There's a little hole there. So this arm fits into there and connects into the other side of the body. Okay. I'm going to show you the easiest way of doing it. So what you do is, you put the gun, so it's that way up, yeah. Take your model, drop a bit of glue in the bottom hole there. Drop a bit of glue in the other side. Then drop a bit into that little hole. And take your gun. That goes in there, okay. And you take, sorry, so that camera goes into the bottom hole there. Okay. And you take this arm, you put that in there. Of course, you're going to misbehave when the camera's rolling, of course. So on the other two, effortlessly. So it goes in there, and you bring it around, just clip it in there. So it's a lot easier to do these guys than it is the termagants. The termagants, you have to keep, give them a little nudge and just 
putting them into place, same with the gargoyles. So it's actually pretty much easier. And I didn't actually realise that these are actually a court unit in non traditional Mammon, which is nuts considering you think, well, I was looking at the Codex and the, some of the benefits that the Hive Tyrant gives and the Swarm Lord gives and stuff like that affects core units, and these are core units. I mean, it gives them like they can get plus one to, to hit and the re roll rolls of a one. And I think the other thing they can have is any rolls of a six when rolling to hit automatic wound or something something like that. It's just very, very, very nuts. So I'm going to leave that to dry for a second and then come back with the, the next options for next bits. Right, so what we have next is the last pieces that go into these models. Now, they come equipped with a less whip and bone sword. Okay, that's a bone sword. Absolutely amazing blade. And the last whip is that bit there. Now, the last whip doesn't have any, I don't think it does any attacks in combat, but what it does is it gives them, what's it give them now? I think it gets them to reroll something, I think. Um, but you have, you have the rendering claws, you have the siphoning talons, you have a pair of bone swords, and you have a bone sword and last whip. And the last whip is pretty handy to have because it, I think it gives, I think it does give them a reroll or something, or plus one strength or something like that. But they can have the other options they can have is adrenal glands and the venom sacks. I think it is. One of them gives them plus one movement and plus one strength. What the hell does that one give now? I can't remember what the other one gives now, but you know. But for me, those are the little bits that you glue onto the model extra. You don't need to do that because you you may not have them in every game. You might be slightly short on points and not be able to have it on one unit. But then they've got the bits on them and they get confused with what unit has it, what unit doesn't have it. So to me, I don't put them on just because of that fact. Because then I can then say, okay, they're all upgraded to have this, they're all upgraded to have that. Um, but I do I do like the Siphoning Talons and I do like the bone with, Lash Whip and Bone Swords. I'm going to give these guys all the Lash Whip and Bone Swords, keep things simple. Like I said, the next unit I can give them Siphoning Talons and their guns. And I can just mix and match them. And the next unit can have X, Y, Z and just mix and match them as I please. So there's three bone whips, less whips, sorry, which is, you know, these ones, they all look the same. And there's three bone swords. Now I think, hold on. Okay, yeah, yeah. So there's three, uh, there's three less whips, but the bone swords are slightly different. There's one bone sword, the other bone sword has a hole in it. Yeah, so there's another one of those down here, so there's two of those. I don't think it matters what bone sword you use, to be honest. So if I, if I can turn on, so let me dim. Um, oh yeah, there's three sets. But only two of them have holes in it. It doesn't matter which one you use. But just make sure the um you're putting the correct arm on the correct side. So for example, this one goes on his left side, whereas this one goes on his right side. Okay. And same with the bone swords. So that's his uh right arm, that's his right arm, that's his left arm, that's his left arm. So just, I'm going to stick bone sword and less whip off, clean them down. I'm going to show you how they go on. It's very straightforward. Um, I'll do the other two off camera first, and then I'll show you the last one, and then I'll come back for final thoughts. Yeah, so this is very straightforward again. Two holes at the top. Some glue in this one. Put some glue in this one. Join them in. Right, so the sword. Goes in there. Whatever pose you want to put it in. And then the nice whip goes in there. Just hold. So now we've got some mad crazy pose there. And the nice whip trying to move itself. I'm going to put it down. Leave this dry. 
And there we have it, guys. Very, very straightforward. Now, with these models, and with all models, when you put them together, and I think I said this earlier on, if afterwards you go, oh, I know it's a, a mould line there, or there's a little bit of sprue off, I've missed to clip off, don't panic. Once all the glue's dried, you can go through and just do it, because it'll be one solid piece of plastic again. And this is where Sadie's Punch really comes in, to get little bits that you've missed. So thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful in any way, please hit the subscribe button and subscribe to the channel because it costs you absolutely nothing and helps the channel in a massive, massive way. Turn your notifications on so you don't miss anything because I don't just do less builds. I do painting videos, lots of different things on the channel. And it's not just tiering models. It's all different. Everything, everything. Everything I can get my hands on that I'll build. Um, and everyone, please smash the thumbs up button. So to trigger YouTube to share this video with more and more people. Also, this is Let's Build 99. So now the next Let's Build is the big boy. So buckle up, sit down, buckle up, because it's going to be a massive build and it's going to be an amazing build. And I, I, I'm not going to try and get it done tomorrow or the day after. I'm going to really take my time, make sure I get every little bit of this one. This model, I think, is bigger than Angron. I think that sort of height weight is bigger than Angron. I think he's probably the same sort of height as the Silent King, maybe a little bit bigger. It's huge. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I'm going to bring you down to show you some prick pictures. And until next time, take it easy.